sipping pina coladas, need it in the water. Oh, I think I wanna. Oh, I think I wanna. She need me, I gotta. Yo, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? It is Nam here, and in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make a cool uh, Twitter header. For your t Twitter, uh, this could be for Fortnite gaming or it could be for like anything else like business or something. Uh, as you can see, I just opened up Paint.net and I'll be. Sh oh, sorry about that. I'll be showing you guys how to uh, uh, create your own Twitter header. So this is the width you want: 1500 by 500. So you want to click OK, uh, and then you want to go. As you can see, it's a white background. You can delete it, do another color if you want, but I'm going to keep it white because it looks the best with what I'm doing. Uh, you want to go effects, noise, add noise, and you want to go OK. But make the color, color saturation, color saturation zero. You could have um, where's the noise? Uh, you could have the color saturation all the way up, but it you know, like, does not look good at all. Or you could have it around eight or something. Okay, but I'm gonna have it at zero because that's what I, I want and what I like uh, for personal preference. Anyway, you want to add a layer. Uh, go to shapes, you want to go to the lightning bolt and then you want to click fill at the top right and you want to make the brush width 35 uh, and then you want to just draw a lightning bolt like this down there and then you want to flip it until it's like horizontal uh, you want to stretch it out to your what you want, what you like and that, that will do and then control C, add a layer, control V, flip it around and make sure it fits perfectly so it's symmetrical I'm a very symmetrical guy uh, okay wait I'll, it's in the way. Okay, I'll just okay there you go. that'll do that works for me and as you can see we have like the border uh, you want to merge the layer down so it's on the same layer if you want to add a drop shadow uh, you can but up to you. I might do that just like that. Uh, and then you want to go add a layer. You want to get this font Surfing Capital. Uh, this is a very popular font, loads of people use it. It's a very big font, so it will take quite a while for my computer to render in. You just want to write your own name, put it in the middle. <coughs> Sorry about that. Didn't have to hear that, did you? But uh, you did. And boom, as you can see, it's loaded in. You don't have to put it directly in the middle if you don't want to, because I have a plugin where you can. I mean, uh, I did just use a drop shadow, but there are plenty of tutorials, by the way. Uh, if you go to my channel and you see um, paint.net, you can click. Uh, no, if you go to my channel, click, go to playlist and then paint.net, you'll see a bunch of tutorials on how to do like profile pictures, banners headers and how to install plugins and stuff like that and even how to install paint.net so make sure to look at the playlist paint.net on the channel anyway effects object line center both if you don't have the plugin then you can just go off your instincts but this will put your font directly in the middle of your screen and it's very handy so as you can see here i just have a plain black font right now it's pretty cool so um I'm just going to go on the internet real quick and I'm going to search up Dynamo Dynamo Fortnite skin skin okay and then I'm going to go wow look at that it's amazing and then you want to add a layer put it below the font keep going with size and then look at that that is amazing and effects photo glow you gotta make your Fortnite character unique, so well, that's a bit too much. Uh, about there, that'll do. Do you want to copy the settings? And go for it. And as you can see, I have my own Twitter header just like that. And you could add any font like uh, uh, 42, 44, and then you can go any font if you want. I'm gonna go here, and then you can write. Uh, down below like use code num or something like that just like that and then you can like add your logo over here if you want there's a lot of stuff you can do with this i'm going to leave it up to you you guys can be creative anyway hopefully hopefully you enjoyed this video 
and I'll see you in the next video. Peace, I'm out.